and welcome to Web TV. Now on The Gadget Show, we've tested all manner of personal transport, transport on land, on the sea, and even in the sky. But we haven't found anything that's worked on all three. Well, until now. Earlier this year, I headed to Rockford, Illinois, and discovered the most unusual item of transport I've seen. Oh my word, look at this! It was the Hoverwing, a hovercraft that can travel on land and water, but also jump up to 20 feet off the ground and fly at speeds of up to 70 miles an hour. The Hoverwing is the brainchild of hovercraft fanatic and former aeronautical engineer Bob Wint. But I caught up with his nephew Billy Zhang to tell me more about the tech. Hi, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I'm Pollyanna. <gasps> Look at this. This is the Hoverwing. This is pretty amazing. And I believe you were one of the first people to actually test drive this. I was fortunate enough to be one of the first guys to ride in a hover wing here in the United States. It was a lot smaller than this one. We've uh, made them a lot bigger now. They carry a lot more people and they're a lot easier to fly. Can you talk me through how you came up with it mm -hmm. and made it into a craft? We're actually a hovercraft manufacturing company. So okay. before we started flying ground effect vehicles, we were building hovercraft and we had the idea to uh, fit wings to them to try and fly them in ground effect and it worked so we began to develop the machine into what you see behind us uh, right here today. For such a big craft the wings are surprisingly small and simple in the way they're constructed. Two pieces of canvas are stretched between two aluminium poles providing ample lift from the ground. The wing okay. tip actually traps air underneath the wings so okay. it makes them fly more efficiently in ground effect. Right. Now this doesn't fly like an airplane where you're flying hundreds of thousands of feet above the ground. We're always flying about four feet above the ground. So you're just waiting for the air to literally just be captured underneath That's the right. wings. That's right. And that gives it the bit of lift that you need to just a, get it off the ground. It's a big air cushion. This phenomenon, called ground effect, reduces drag and improves lift. And that's the reason why the hover wing can fly so effortlessly with such stubby wings. Uh, and then the thrust system is also very important. Okay. Uh, you notice it's a big shrouded propeller, so it's, it's similar to what you see on an airboat. And how much power do you actually get from this? What kind of speeds can you reach up to? This, this machine will do about 75 miles per hour. You are kidding me. And it me. does it on 135 horsepower. So it's very low power, very high speed. It's a very efficient vehicle. So behind us here, this is the tail. Okay. And this is actually what controls the vehicle while it's in flight. So just like an airplane, we have, have an elevator. So that maintains the al altitude of the machine. Yeah. And then we have three vertical rudders for steering. And these allow the craft to turn left and right and, and bank just like an airplane. Go ahead and hop in, sit in the seat there. So what am I looking at in here then? It's actually very simple to drive. Go ahead and grab the joystick right in front of you. Okay. It's a lot like an airplane. Um, pulling back like you've just done actually raises the elevator in the back and makes you okay. take off. Wow. And pushing the stick left or right will make it steer left and right. The dials are actually an airspeed indicator, a tachometer, okay. and then the gauges to monitor the engine. The most okay. important gauge in the vehicle is the airspeed indicator because okay. it's a lot like on, in an airplane. You want to know exactly how fast, fast you're going, going through the air. Oh, and I love the fact you've got a stereo in there. We've got to be able to entertain our friends. <laughs> now, it's one thing to design and build an experimental craft like this, but it's another to take it into the air. But unfortunately, due to the adverse weather conditions, I was unable to take the hover wing for a test flight. Your uncle must be over the moon with what he's managed to design and what's come to fruition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and he's, he's proud of where it's going. You know, it's, uh, the machine is really developing and next generations of this uh, machine are going to be even better. Can you tell us what the next generations of the machines are going to have? Anything uh, you different? You might have to come back and see some other time. The Hoverwing costs just over $21,000. And because it's registered as a boat and is limited to a cruise altitude of three to six feet, it's not actually classed as an aircraft. So you don't need a pilot's license to fly it. Now that's awesome. 